Hi, I'm Ismail from Home Automation Malaysia. So today I want to review about smart door lock. So make sure you are using your this type of door. So first of all, you need to take out the current door locks. So by pressing at the back, so got hole, then pressing at that and at on that hole, then take out the cover, and take out the every single thing on the screw tighten on the door. So after you loosen and take out every single part and then we insert the new dead latch into the door and we insert the new smart door lock spindle into the holes and make sure the wire is go to the another side so see here the wire need to connect into another side because later we need to connect that wire into the board so make sure it's reached to the board then we lock the dead latch by using the screwdriver then we insert the spindle and make sure the spindle is locked into the dead latch then we will turn the lock and do the same thing on the another side so need to install the spindle lock the screw and tighten so make sure the both screw is tightened and then we need to insert this wire to the board so you can see the uh, the red color side to the red color on the board so after that we can press we can press the lock and see if the lock is already tightened then we insert the triple a battery so this is using the four unit of the triple a battery then after that we install the cover a lock using the allen key so the allen key is provided in inside the box okay now we can test out to make sure the door is working so we can press the fingerprint here and make sure the other side also is working so this smart door lock is using the tt locks app so please press the add lock and then press the door locks so we will asking you to on your bluetooth so once you press the reset button so the device will available in the apps so just click into the device and you can rename it so the connection between the apps and smart door lock is a very simple and straightforward so yeah now it's already available on the apps so first you can set the fingerprint first so just add fingerprint and we are using the permanent one so just click the name and start then you need to uh, insert your finger at the fingerprints and make sure all your fingerprint area is at, uh, is detect then we go to the another the, into the left hands and do the same thing so now it's already identify our both fingerprints also you can open by press the lock icon here then it's open now also we can generate the passcode by using permanent time or one time so this is creating for the one time so this is the code and we can share into our family member also we can create the e-key and send into our family member or friends so yeah this is the function so it's very helpful and very easy to use okay see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>